Not all ice cream is created equal. Stay tuned to find out if your favorite Bluebell ice cream made the list, as we weigh in on why some basic flavors could go so wrong and others can be just right. When shopping for Bluebell ice cream, the one flavor you most need to avoid is light homemade vanilla. Its very existence is a travesty. On the container, Bluebell tries to convince you to buy it by claiming that it has less fat and fewer calories than typical ice cream. That may be true, but one spoonful will be enough to convince you that this trade-off isn't worth it. Who cares if the ice cream is technically healthier if it's also inedible? The first problem with the light homemade vanilla is the texture. By removing the fat, Bluebell also removed most of the creamy goodness that makes all their other flavors so memorable. The second problem is the overbearing sweetness. To camouflage the lack of creaminess, Bluebell has attempted to distract your taste buds by adding extra sugar. But that, ultimately, just makes everything even more off-putting. If you pick Bluebell's mint chocolate chip, you're taking a risk. When it comes to this flavor in general, the outcome is either absolutely terrible or utterly delicious. For example, Baskin Robbins' version is so spectacular that it's one of their best-rated flavors. Sadly, Bluebell's take is on the other end of the scale. The first problem is the scent. Instead of smelling like a delightful ice cream that will brighten your day, this mint chocolate chip smells like extra-strength toothpaste. And not only does this flavor smell like toothpaste, it also tastes like toothpaste. There's nothing wrong with the taste of the chocolate chips, but they're not nearly plentiful enough for you to overlook this overly minty disaster. Even if you typically love mint-flavored ice cream, do yourself a favor and just say no to Bluebells. Just say no. Among Bluebell's two diet ice creams, no sugar added country vanilla is the best, but that's not saying much. If you look at the label, you'll discover that there are still 8 grams of naturally occurring sugar in this flavor. Although there's no added sugar, there are 5 grams of sugar alcohol. This is a common trick that companies pull off to sell food that technically doesn't have added sugar. Don't fall for it. You could potentially overlook Bluebell's nutritional trickery if this flavor were otherwise tasty, but that's just not the case. This flavor has a strong chemical aftertaste that overwhelms any positive attributes, which is most likely due to the presence of the sugar alcohol. If you want healthy ice cream, opt for any of the other fantastic low-calorie ice creams out there. There are a number of brands that blow Bluebell's diet options out of the water, so stick with them when you don't want to pile up the calories. The world is filled with three kinds of people. There are those who have eaten pistachio ice cream and quickly regretted it, then there are those who are so grossed out by the thought of pistachio ice cream that they've avoided it completely. And finally, there are those weird individuals who actually enjoy pistachio ice cream. Even if you are one of those weirdos, you still shouldn't buy Bluebell's pistachio almond. Instead of a deep, rich pistachio taste, it only has the slightest hint of pistachio flavoring. The dominant flavor is actually from the almonds that are added to the mix. They're roasted and chopped, which actually does add a satisfying amount of taste and texture. You might think that a mix of pistachio and almond would work well together, but in reality, this combo is a flop. They interfere with each other so much that both pistachio lovers and almond lovers will be disappointed. If you're still curious about what pistachio ice cream tastes like, pick a different brand. When you opt for vanilla ice cream, that probably means you want to keep things simple and avoid all distractions and confusion. But when it comes to Bluebell, opting for vanilla isn't as straightforward as it is with other ice cream brands. Bluebell has multiple vanilla offerings, but only one of them is worthy of your selection. And natural vanilla bean is not it. This flavor is actually quite interesting, as it contains actual flecks of vanilla bean in the mix. In theory, those visible bits of vanilla should add some pizzazz to an otherwise boring scoop of ice cream. Unfortunately, that's not actually what happens in this case. Rather, the flecks are just for show and just don't add much of anything when it comes to taste. The truth of the matter is that Bluebell's natural vanilla bean is just too much. The vanilla flavoring is too strong and the aftertaste is too sweet. If you're in the mood for vanilla, this probably isn't what you have in mind. If you want something that's more than a relaxing bowl of ice cream, you should select another flavor. Frankly, Bluebell's vanilla bean just doesn't make sense for anyone. It doesn't make any sense. When done right, cookie dough ice cream is undeniably scrumptious. It's everything you love about ice cream mixed with the forbidden wonder of raw cookie dough that you've been told not to eat. If you've tasted Ben & Jerry's version, you know how much potential cookie dough ice cream has when it's been perfected. 
In fact, people are so obsessed with Ben & Jerry's cookie dough that they sell bags of it, and they even explain how to make it in your own kitchen. Tragically, though, Bluebell's version of chocolate chip cookie dough doesn't live up to your optimistic expectations. Instead of tasting like cookie dough, it comes off more like pieces of fully baked chocolate chip cookies that have been added to the ice cream. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but you'll definitely be disappointed if you thought you were in store for something that tastes like raw cookie dough. Additionally, there are just not enough cookie pieces in the ice cream. You can go entire mouthfuls without a piece of cookie making an appearance on your spoon, and that's just not right. That ain't right! <laughs> Bluebell didn't beat around the bush by naming its coffee-flavored ice cream simply coffee. It's commendable that they got straight to the point, but it would have been helpful if they gave us more of a clue of what to expect. Then again, a name like Diner Coffee probably wouldn't have been a hot seller. If they had gone with Diner Coffee, that might have been a little too accurate here. Instead of tasting like your favorite store-bought coffee or the great fast food coffee that you can get at various chains, this Bluebell offering tastes like the type of coffee that you'd be served at an establishment that's open 24 hours a day. Sure, it tastes like coffee, just not the good stuff. Since this ice cream is made with real coffee beans, it's unquestionably a cool way to get your daily caffeine fix. That said, you'll be much happier if you pick a tastier flavor of Bluebell ice cream and pair it with an actual cup of coffee. Or if you want to keep things completely chilly, opt for an iced coffee or a cold brew. If you blindly select Bluebell's bride's cake flavor, you probably have no idea what to expect. When it comes to cakes and ice cream colliding in the dessert universe, you usually see ice cream mixed with the likes of red velvet cake or birthday cake. For just one example, haagen made a birthday cake ice cream that featured vanilla cake batter, brownie batter, chocolate frosting, pieces of yellow cake, and rainbow sprinkles. As for Bluebell's bride's cake, it tastes like almonds. Yes, almonds. Bluebell could have saved a lot of confusion by just naming this flavor almond, quite frankly. The container claims that there are pieces of white cake in the mix, along with cream cheese that's been flavored with amaretto, which is generally made with almond extract. Although your taste buds will be able to tell that there are multiple flavors at play, the only one you'll be able to pinpoint with any assuredness will be almond. Bride's cake would be a handful of spots higher if it had actual pieces of roasted almonds in it. That would be a huge upgrade, but apparently Bluebell wanted to keep pretending that this is cake-flavored and not just a roundabout way of selling almond ice cream. Bluebell has two types of strawberry-flavored ice cream. The one that you shouldn't purchase is called strawberries and homemade vanilla. It's not a terribly bad flavor, but it's a real disappointment compared to the alternative. If you pick this flavor, you should know that it mostly tastes like vanilla. The strawberries only play a minor role compared to the starring part that vanilla enjoys. The strawberries provide a pink color, and if you look hard enough, you'll find chunks of strawberries here and there. But if you're expecting an ice cream in which strawberries take center stage, then you should be prepared for a letdown. Instead of strawberries and homemade vanilla, a more accurate name for this flavor would be homemade vanilla and a smidge of strawberry. If you want vanilla ice cream with a tiny bit of fruitiness mixed in, go ahead and buy this flavor. In any other scenario though, you should pick a different ice cream with a more fruit-forward approach. If you're scared to pull the trigger on a single flavor, you may decide to pick Bluebell's The Great Divide and hope that you're getting the best of both worlds. As you can guess simply by looking at the name in the carton, this ice cream is half vanilla and half chocolate. Even though this offering features Bluebell's best vanilla flavor and best chocolate flavor, the combination of the two is simply not a winner. Unless you painstakingly keep the two flavors separate, what you'll end up with is a spoonful of chocolatey vanilla or a spoonful of vanillary chocolate. While the combined flavors are still yummy, you'll soon realize that you should have either gone with just the vanilla or just the chocolate. Simply put, both flavors are better when they're standing on their own two feet and not jockeying for attention. If what you're craving is a more blended mix of chocolate and vanilla ice cream, then you can just head to your local Wendy's and order a chocolate frosty. This legendary fast food dessert is made by expertly combining chocolate and vanilla ice cream, which ensures that every bite is glorious. For adrenaline junkies who enjoy taking risks, cookies and cream cone is sure to get your juices flowing. If you select this Bluebell flavor, you'll either be thrilled beyond belief or completely despondent. There's no middle ground for you to safely land when it comes to this dessert. If you get a good batch of this stuff, it's an awesome experience. It's like regular cookies and cream ice cream with some extra goodies added in to put an even bigger smile on your face. Beyond the cookie crumbles, you'll discover swirls of fudge along with pieces of chocolate ice cream cones that have been blessed with an additional layer of dark chocolate. It won't take long for you to be convinced that you found one of your favorite flavors of Bluebell. 
But before you celebrate, you should know that Cookies and Cream Cone is still a work in progress. Some batches of this flavor are downright dreadful. Occasionally, the cone pieces are so hard that they're too difficult to chew. You'll sometimes find that it contains so much fudge that it overpowers everything else and becomes a slog to eat. Considering that Bluebell launched this flavor in 2021, it's not shocking that they're still working out the kinks. Hopefully, they can soon achieve consistency because this flavor has sky-high potential. I see nothing but untapped potential! Ultimate Neapolitan is very similar to The Great Divide. The only difference is that strawberries and homemade vanilla is added to the fiesta in order to create a true Neapolitan concoction. If you're throwing a birthday party for a child, then this is a smart choice. While kids can be picky, there's a strong chance that all of them will like at least one out of chocolate, vanilla or strawberry. And non-picky eaters will gladly devour all three. And even if you mix all three together, it still tastes good. That said, adults probably won't be too enthralled with Ultimate Neapolitan. Even if you cherish Neapolitan in general, you won't be very impressed. The problem is that the strawberry portion mostly tastes like vanilla, so the actual result is a container of ice cream that's basically two-thirds vanilla. And that's not the end of the world, but it's also not what you want if you're in the market for genuine Neapolitan ice cream. If you want your tongue to do a Texas two-step, Bluebell helpfully offers a flavor called Cookie Two-Step. This ice cream is a combination of two favorites, cookies and cream and cookie dough. While it sounds amazing, it won't quite blow you away like you might hope it would. The thing that holds Cookie Two-Step back from climbing higher in this ranking is the inclusion of chocolate chip cookie dough. Instead of being a combination of cookies and cream and cookie dough, this stuff is more like a combination of cookies and cream and chocolate chip cookie crumbles. That's nothing to complain about, and the cookies and cream aspect makes this a much better option than Bluebell's chocolate chip cookie dough. But just know that you should keep your expectations in check. As long as you know that you're not getting cookie dough, this flavor can swiftly elevate you to cookie heaven. Cookie! Um, nom, 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 oh, nom, 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 nom. The first flavor on this list that deserves to be recommended without any hesitation is Cherry Vanilla. This particular Bluebell offering is exciting from the very first moment that its distinctive aroma hits your nostrils. At first glance, you might think that this flavor is a lot like strawberries and homemade vanilla. But while it may look similar, there are some important differences. First off, while strawberries and homemade vanilla has only a slight strawberry flavor, there's nothing imperceptible about the cherry flavor in this ice cream. It's so strong that you may want to go through each scoop slowly so that your senses don't become overloaded. Another key difference is that there are no shortages of cherries in the mix. Each spoonful features a flavorful maraschino cherry that tastes like it was plucked from the top of a sundae. The only slight drawback when it comes to Bluebell's cherry vanilla is that it's not binge friendly. After your first or second bowl, you'll want to take a break, but eventually you'll be able to build your appetite back up for some more cherry-powered goodness. Rocky Road is an ice cream flavor with a history that dates back as much as 100 years. By 1929, Dryers was the brand that was leading the Rocky Road charge, and it didn't take long for this flavor to become a big hit from coast to coast. It typically consists of chocolate ice cream mixed with nuts and marshmallows, and it's still a perennially popular choice among dessert connoisseurs. Likewise, Bluebell's version of Rocky Road won't let you down. It combines dark chocolate ice cream with pieces of roasted almonds and mini marshmallows. If you like Rocky Road in general, then you'll like this stuff. It's just that simple. That said, this won't go down in history as the best version of Rocky Road that you'll ever eat. It's above average, but not quite elite. The issue that holds it back is the fact that the road just isn't rocky enough. The dark chocolate ice cream is yummy, but the volume of almond pieces is lacking. Furthermore, the marshmallows are so miniature that sometimes you'll eat them without even noticing. Buttered pecan is a bluebell flavor that's been around for more than four decades. Just take one look of it and the old-timey goodness will instantly grab your attention and won't let go. Unlike most newfangled flavors that are obnoxiously sweet, buttered pecan relies on extra creamy ice cream that's deliciously rich and unmistakably buttery. Not only does this flavor taste like pecans, it also includes actual pecan pieces in the mix that have been roasted and then salted just enough to make the whole concoction pop. Alas though, if you're hoping for caramel swirls, brownie bits or chocolate chips, you should know that there aren't any extraneous surprises in this offering. It's an uncomplicated classic masterpiece. Ice cream with salty and buttery elements might scare off those who have a demanding sweet tooth, but everyone else will thoroughly enjoy this edition of Butter Pecan. Bluebell originally released Millennium Crunch as their way of celebrating the new millennium, naturally enough. But this flavor grew in popularity so quickly that the company decided to keep it around. 
And now, more than 20 years later, the Millennium Celebration is still rocking as loud as ever. The momentum is so strong that Bluebell is sure to be partying like it's 1999 for decades to come. Unlike the simplicity of buttered pecan, Millennium Crunch is super complicated, which works out well in this case. It starts with a foundation of vanilla ice cream and then features chunks of dark chocolate along with bits of chewy caramel, walnuts, almonds, and pecans. The nuts are roasted to perfection and broken into perfectly sized pieces. The resulting ice cream is a jamboree of flavor from the first scoop to the last. While Bluebell struck gold with Millennium Crunch, not all their trial runs have been successful. Once upon a time, they even went so far as to release a dill pickle and cream with actual pieces of pickles in it. Unsurprisingly, it was a major flop. When you first learn that homemade vanilla is the most popular flavor of Bluebell ice cream, you might be shocked. How could vanilla reign supreme when this brand has so many other scrumptious flavors? But after you put this flavor to your lips, all your confusion will vanish. It's true that vanilla usually isn't very exhilarating, but this particular vanilla is genuinely next level. As the name suggests, the secret to Bluebell's homemade vanilla is that it legitimately tastes like it was crafted by your grandparents with a hand-cranked machine. If you've ever eaten homemade ice cream before, you know that there's a difference in terms of texture and richness. While those attributes are missing in virtually all mass-produced vanilla ice creams, Bluebell has somehow managed to retain that homemade experience with this timeless offering. You can eat it plain, top it with chocolate fudge, or add your favorite fruits. No matter what you do with homemade vanilla, you'll be overjoyed. I'm Joy. Bluebell has a lot of nut-centric flavors that are oh so tasty. You can't go wrong with winners such as Butter Pecan and Millennium Crunch. And if you want the best nutty flavor of them all, just go ahead and push all the others aside and reach for Pecan, Pralines and Cream. This stuff is majestic and is sure to make you a Bluebell fan for life. Pecan, Pralines and Cream begins with Bluebell's best vanilla ice cream. Next, swirls of praline sauce are added to the party. Last, but certainly not least, a generous offering of pecans that have been coated with praline are tossed in. Once you dig in, there will be no turning back. Your love affair with this flavor will commence instantaneously. And unlike a similarly dense flavor like cherry vanilla, pecan, pralines, and cream is highly bingeable. You won't want to relinquish your spoon until every last drop is gone. Good to the last drop. When you see Southern Blackberry Cobbler available for purchase, you need to buy it first and then ask questions later. Bluebell only sells this flavor for part of the year, typically during the summer but it has such a devoted fan base that when it is available, it's prone to selling out rather quickly and then becoming impossible to find. If you've ever eaten Blackberry Cobbler, you know exactly what to expect with this ice cream. Blackberry Cobbler is a popular dessert in the American South, and it's always an epic way to end a long, hot summer day. Bluebell Southern Blackberry Cobbler offers a plentiful amount of blackberry sauce, which tastes fresh and never lacks a powerful punch of blackberry flavor. The party doesn't stop there as pieces of pie crust are added to make this flavor even more cobbler-like. And on top of all that, the pie crust is so moist and flaky that it will melt in your mouth. When you're looking for strawberry-flavored ice cream from Bluebell, don't make the error of picking the strawberries and homemade vanilla. What you should actually be looking for is the flavor that is simply called strawberry. It's easy to get confused, which is unfortunate because there's a monumental difference between the two. While strawberries and homemade vanilla is too reliant on vanilla, that's not an issue with strawberry. This addition is strawberry-flavored to its core, and there's nothing vanilla about it. To add to the fun, pieces of sweet strawberries add small yet pronounced explosions of flavor to each scoop. Strawberry-flavored ice cream first hit the mainstream in the United States when First Lady Dolly Madison served it at her husband James Madison's 1813 inauguration. Fast forward to modern times and Bluebell Strawberry is as good or better than any other strawberry-flavored ice cream you can find in America. When you're tossing and turning in bed dreaming about your next bowl of chocolate ice cream, Bluebell's Dutch chocolate is what you should have in mind. It's truly what chocolatey dreams are made of. When chocolate is what you desire, pick up a carton of this ice cream, and by the time you see the bottom of the container, you'll be completely and overwhelmingly satisfied. I love it! I love it! I love it! Some chocolate ice cream is so light that you need to hold your breath and concentrate to really taste its flavor. Conversely, other chocolates are so dark and dense in flavor that it can actually become burdensome to eat after just a few spoonfuls. Fortunately, Bluebell's Dutch chocolate strikes a happy medium between those two lamentable situations. It's deep, rich, and creamy enough for you to revel in its chocolate flavor, yet delicate and buoyant enough for you to eat bowl after bowl. 
as should be abundantly clear if you've watched all the way to this point, Bluebell has a plethora of outstanding flavors. From fruity to nutty and everything in between, this brand doesn't suffer from a shortage when it comes to fabulous ice cream. But when only the best flavor of the bunch will appease your taste buds, cookies and cream is the answer. Plenty of other brands have tried to master this flavor, but Bluebell's is undoubtedly the creme de la creme. Why is this ice cream so unbelievably tasty? It's likely due to Bluebell's vast experience when it comes to making this particular flavor. In fact, the company claims that cookies and cream was their invention, and every other brand just followed their lead. If you doubt their claim, it will take only one mouthful for you to realize that they're probably telling the truth. Even though there are no real Oreos in it, that doesn't change the fact that this is some of the best ice cream you will find anywhere on the planet. Everything about it is cold, sweet, delectable perfection. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite sweet treats are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.